Hey guys, Jason here coming at you with a little trad tip. I want to make a little video here about fishing line rest. I've only ever seen one other one. It was on Jake Downs Instagram and he's actually the one who kind of taught me how to do it through his Instagram. Um, it's on one of his reels. So if, if you like this video, be sure to go check out his video. I got to give him credit for it. Um, a lot of these companies are starting to drill out fishing line rest holes in the side of the risers where like your striker plate would have been, um, especially with all these wooden bows because with the ILF bows, you can, most of them have threads for them to be able to put a spring arrest in. So, but like I said, with, with these wooden traditional bows, there's no way to really put a spring arrest in them. So if you want to shoot off an elevator rest, it, it's something that you need to either J-rig or you're trying to drill holes and thread it. Um, but when you do that, it just, it can cause a lot of confusion. So with, with a lot of these bows like Bob Lee, Bushman, Wengard, they started putting these little holes in the side of the riser so that way we can install these fishing line rests and they are a big help, especially when you want to limit friction on the uh, shelf, um, you want to get more consistent air flights, stuff like that. Um, so what you're going to want to look for is you're going to want to look for something like that. Um, just a little tiny uh, rest pretty much where all of them are sealed together when you burn them. Um, one end is going to be cut on an angle, that's going to be the end going out. Um, one end's cut flat, that's the end going to your bow. So now we're gonna get into how to make them. Um, you're gonna want 30 to 40 pound mono. I use 30 pound just cause I like what stiffness it is. Buy it cheap off Amazon. Like this one's trialing big game mono. Buy 440 yards of it, which will make a bunch of these cause you're only making about an inch piece, um, if that. But uh, I think I spent like six bucks on 440 yards so it's dirt cheap um don't quote me on that price either because i'm just going off the top of my head but you're gonna need a lighter something to cut them with in this case i'm using shears uh cable shears so then you're gonna want two 22 shells that 22 shells are the key to making this whole thing um they gotta be spent don't try and like take apart a 22 shell you, you want to shoot them first in a safe area um or go to a gun range and pick them off the ground like I kind of did. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, you want two 22 shells. Um, you're going to cut the backs off where, yeah, basically you're going to cut the backs off where it's sealed so that way it's through and through. Um, then you're going to take uh, your mono and basically cut it all up and be able to fill the 22 shells entirely. Uh, make sure it's nice and tight in there because that will give you the perfect uh, perfect uh, density for your fishing line. It would be nice and stiff for you. Um, but yeah, you're going to fill it, put the two twenty two shells back to back. Um, this one I already burned over, but I'm going to show you how to burn it again. But, uh, you basically want to get them just like that, nice and tight where they just barely move on there. Um, and yeah, we'll go from there. So how to start this is, is just say you already got it all in tiny 22 shell. You know, take your lighter, burn the end of it, get it nice and mushroomed up. Once it mushrooms up, slide your 22 shell up and over, let it seal. Don't do what I just did. And then once we do that, slide it back down. And then you're going to take your caber shears or whatever you're cutting with. I recommend if you have diagonal cutters or something like that, use those. I'm just doing this because I don't feel like looking for shit right now, but excuse my language, but what we're going to do is we're going to go through and I'm going to cut it at an angle. Okay, so we're going to set this aside. All right. So now we got it cut at an angle. See it cut at an angle there. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna burn it all together. Get a nice flat edge and I touch it all on the lighter. Don't let it get stuck to the lighter. This 
so that creates a nice uh and then if you do have a lip up here which sometimes you'll get just touch it with the lighter kind of bend it down if you want a nice little slope off and then boom just like that so what you'll do is you'll shove that end in your bow the flat end let the angled end hang out and that's all you need so i hope you guys like this video if you like it um maybe hit the subscribe button like it share it. um definitely go check jake downs over on instagram he's the one that is uh pretty much the only one that made a video on this to show how to do it so i just figured i'd throw one up just to kind of piggyback off his um if you do have any questions about it shoot me a comment um i'll try and answer them best of my ability so best of luck you guys shoot straight